What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Scythe and today we're going to be doing a very quick Pyros Fard run where I'm actually just learning it from these guys that are in my group. I claim no credit for actually learning this, but man alive, it is an awesome technique. Pretty much you get all of your group to stand in this one location, even for phase one, and just make sure that the priest is sitting there healing all of you guys out. This is going to keep Pyros pretty much in place, even when he's doing his deja vu dash all around the arena. He's pretty much just going to be standing there, uh, you'll, you'll see in a man anyways, just doing the same thing over and over again. and kind of ends up getting stuck. And uh, so long as you're a character that doesn't have interrupts, like, you know, I'm playing as the Berserker, for example, and I'm using a Void Slash build that I have in some of my other videos, and the cool thing about Void Slash is I can just keep on attacking and don't ever end up getting stunned. Uh, now, while he's actually doing this phase, you can actually see he's dashing into us, but we're just on the edge of the platform, and because of it, we're not actually taking any, like, uh, we're, we're not getting the fire debuff, so we're not actually being set on fire. Now, you gotta try and make sure that you stand here, uh, because otherwise he's gonna kind of dash around, and sometimes he'll end up, like, going over to this spot, but that's perfectly fine. You gotta have, like, a strong enough group in order to be able to do this properly. And uh, sometimes, like, I saw everybody end up jumping off there just because it doesn't matter that we ended up taking the damage. It's just about, um, you know, being able to avoid his stun lock. And uh, I can sit here and just tank all this. It seems like uh, the handsome guy, uh, maybe he can't. Uh, I'm not sure because I just kind of generally see him kind of hop away every now and then. But uh, sometimes, you know, when he does his laser, you got to be a little bit careful. Uh, more particularly when he does his laser from the opposite side over towards where we are now, uh, then you'll have to actually dodge the laser, but otherwise you should be pretty good in this spot as you saw when he ended up doing his first attack uh, with the laser. And generally most of his attacks aren't really going to hit you here just because of how weird the hitbox is. This is pretty much our second run of doing this, but I just thought that it was so cool and so fast that I really wanted to let you guys in on this. So this is where I'm going to take damage from the laser. Uh, as you see right there, I'm just strong enough that I can kind of tank it. Uh, and then if he attacks from his right to his left, you see we didn't actually end up taking any damage or getting knocked down from the laser or anything. So it, it's just kind of important to note that if you can't really tank this, uh, you might want to just jump down. But generally, you're going to be in one of those spots where you're not going to take the full brunt of his laser. You're just going to kind of take, uh, you know, the, that side damage of it. We've already kind of like got him into his second phase, which is pretty cool. Uh, the uh, thing that we're going to attempt right now is apparently we can just all stay at his back. And then a priest is just going to spam heal us out of this as well. Uh, seems like we're still taking quite a bit of damage though. So I'm not sure if this is going to work because they said maybe it might have been patched. Um, but so far, so good, right? I, I'm kind of having to use my pots a little bit, though, because I'm, I'm, not, really, uh, I'm not really wanting to risk this. Uh, but I guess the point is that we could just kind of stand behind him the entire time. And hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we're in a placement. No, there, I, like I see somebody ended up actually dying from uh, the laser. Which, oh my gosh. Ah! Somebody ended up dying from the laser because we weren't in the right uh, spot. And it seems like everybody just kind of decided to panic and fix their positioning uh and now they're actually saying that it's patched so maybe they actually did get rid of that but it's no problem uh it doesn't really matter because all you really gotta do at this phase you guys already all know this you pretty much just get everyone in the party to stand stand here and then the priest uh so long as they have enough healing they can just kind of sit here and just spam heal you out it's it's still a fairly fast boss fight so it doesn't really matter uh, of course when he throws his fireballs it's just kind of a no holds bar just dodge every one of them that you can because otherwise it's going to uh just kind of knock you in the air and just slow down that overall dps and uh, i mean when we get to the final phase which it seems like he's getting into that right now already and he's just gonna spam his lasers over and over again so uh, as zerk anyways i have the advantage of being able to just kind of stand in the hole and cause damage until i'm at 10 stacks to drop my dark breaker but other characters of course are gonna have to hop into the pits uh, and kind of come back out like for air every now and then to actually do some damage to him. But, uh, you know, uh, again, you're going to have to have decent armor. And more importantly, you're going to have to have pretty good attack and a decent uh, healer in order to actually pull this off. But I do still think that it's really, really cool that these guys ended up showing me this. Because, I mean, look at that. That is just, that's insane, dude. That's such a, that's such a good, fast, clear time. Like, it really makes... 
Pyros, like six minutes, six seconds. That's really good. And even the last time we ran it, we were at the five minute mark. So that's just like so quick and so easy to end up getting through and is probably one of the fastest hard dungeons you can go through right now, which is very, very important because you need to have like insane amounts of gear for the raids. But in either case, Thank you all so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do not forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell for more MapleStory videos every single day. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor the YouTube channel uh, with that join button down below. Uh, check my real life merch store, which is in the description. And if you don't have any money and you still want to help me out, uh, you can always, you know, check out Gawkbox, which is a way you can donate to me for free. But regardless, thanks for watching. Sayonara and stay epic, everybody.